they've got some AAA ball players they might be bringing up. Putting unnecessary and unrelated audio beneath your opening logos to try and make up for how long your opening logos take, which, by the way, for this movie is 55 goddamn seconds. Also, Weed Road is a place I'd like to visit, but strictly for medicinal purposes. <laughs> the Knicks have a huge winning streak. <laughs> well, the premise is quite simple. Take something designed by nature and reprogram it to make it work for the body rather than against it. That sounds like the very definition of not simple. Movie hires Emma Thompson to be in it for two minutes to play the villain, I guess. Movie predicts Shaq will retire in 2010, but he retired in 2011. Reality one, movie zero. So you have actually cured cancer. <laughs> Also, yes, but in doing so, she created a zombie virus no one thought to worry about. So the glass is still kind of half empty here. Parker, why is the city so empty? What the hell is this supposed to be? Did Spider-Man orgasm his webbing all over this entire skyscraper? I don't care how much CGI is involved. I really love the idea of Will Smith and a German Shepherd living alone in New York City. One sin added for being a better movie than I expected. Yes, I heard what I said. Now do it. What you say? What you say? Well, he definitely didn't see that since he was looking forward and that came from the side. Okay, what the hell is he actually trying to do right now? Chase deer with his car? Well, he's succeeding, but what is his goal? To shoot one? Why not do it before now? Also, it's amazing how most of the roads are clear, allowing the movie to start out with basically what amounts to a Mustang commercial. I'd just like to point out that we're nearly seven full minutes into this movie, and there's been basically zero dialogue, yet I, as a viewer, am fully engaged. Bravo, movie. Once and all. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sudden lion! This deer's f***ing deaf, and Will Smith's dog is amazing at not dogging through this moment, the way a real dog would. You know, by barking. A lot. The dog isn't barking at the lion deer attack. He's just noticed the Sbarro's in the background, and remembered how shitty their pizza used to be before humanity died off. Movie predicts Batman v Superman eight years before its release, but is unable to stop it from happening. Also, if you look closely enough, you can see the suck actually dripping off this advertisement. Just the way you like it. Disgusting. This chore does not require an apron. Also, I'm sure she'll eat whatever you give her. If you find it so disgusting, give the dog something different. It's a f***ing dog, dude. They're not picky. Expositional copy of Time Magazine that is sloppily duct taped to the fridge is expositional. For this scene to be possible, someone in the past had to have recorded this news broadcast. For some reason. Which make no goddamn sense. I think the population might get wiped out. Better start recording the news before that happens so I can watch it for clues later after it happens and I'm somehow the only guy alive which I knew would happen. Deal? Deal? The f***? Does this asshole have a hot water heater in every goddamn room of his house? Who needs more than one? He sleeps in this tub? How is that even possible? It's not like there are any chiropractors around and sh Jesus. After locking the doors and windows, the tub is somehow still an extra layer of protection for you? You're fully clothed and sh This was not an accident you fell asleep in here. Flashback one, tease the backstory. He's announcing me. No mistake, my fellow Americans. Neville turns on the radio at just the right moment to hear the president speak. This isn't up to you, you can't- all jump scares forever. Did he sleepwalk into bed from the top? Movie shows me Will Smith doing exercises for 25 seconds just to make me feel bad about myself. Okay, what the f***? Just a handful of years ago, a virus wiped down humanity and this guy's still alive? Fine. He was one of the ones researching a cure? Fine. But the brownstone he confiscated for domicile just happens to have a basement medical lab? F*** you. And if you want to tell me he has built this in the last few years, f*** you too. The basement lab is some serious bullshit. Each alive infected rat is cracking their enclosure on close-up, but when we see the rats over Neville's shoulder, their enclosures aren't cracked at all. Is it a coincidence that the mannequin he falls in love with at the video store is standing directly in front of the adult DVD section? I think not. Morning, Hank. Midway through the G's. So he steals art, but still goes through the motions of living in a society where one rents, rewinds, and returns videotapes? The people of New York all collectively have the wherewithal to take important information about this infection and post it on cabinet and refrigerator doors, just in case that information needs to be non-verbally communicated to someone watching someone else live in this universe. Just in case everyone everywhere being dead wasn't sad enough, here's this. It's not enough there are no other normal humans around, and Neville is going slowly insane from loneliness. We can tell really hit the fan because the gas prices got kinda high. The viral zombie apocalypse somehow destroyed two-thirds of all the most famous bridges in New York. Neville prepares to hit another golf ball without moving one over, yet when the shot changes, he swings and hits a golf ball with no issues. No, 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 no! Shouldn't this have happened a long time ago? I mean, dogs chase shit. You clearly don't have the dog on a total training regimen. You went running after a stray deer, how is this not inevitable? And how did it take so long to happen? I know you love that dog, but god damn it's stupid that you came in here given what you know. Just really exceptionally stupid. There are doubtless thousands of dogs left alive on the planet. Just go find another one. Preferably not one stupid enough to run into an obvious zombie den like an idiot. Neville ducks and there's still light in the mirror. You better watch out for that cameraman behind him. Also, some movies are exquisitely lit by people who care about filmmaking, and some movies tell you to go f yourself. This is the latter. He thinks this hand prick to hide the light will actually make him less obviously visible to anyone in here already adjusted to the dark. This is legitimately creepy, but I wish the movie would explain why they don't pay any attention to him right now, given that in a few minutes they'll be paying all kinds of attention to him even though it's broad daylight outside. And don't give me that they're in a trance bullshit, because that makes no sense. Also, where is dog? Also, the movie's subtitle calls them hemocytes, which is very close to being clever, but is actually pretty dumb. 
The prefix hemo means blood, and suffix site means hollow vessel, but denotes cell. Here's the thing. Hemocyte is the name of an actual cell that exists in invertebrates. So whoever named these creatures, presumably scientists, named them after an innocuous cell that lives in things like fruit flies. This is a very long-winded way of saying they should use my name for the creatures. Hemogoblins. Sam now knows to go toward the light. I guess she learned her lesson even though she's a dog. He survives this. So if Neville was on the second floor, then where did Sam's escape hole let her out? Did she just fall 20 feet and remain unscathed too? Because you can still get infected, and I can't. Show, don't tell is a rule for good screenwriting, so the audience feels involved in the action. Or you can just have Will Smith state the plot points to a dog. If I'm not back by dark, just go. Robert expects a dog to have a concept of time, or understand what he said. If he's able to cure this one, the next thing he'll have to address is the severe head trauma. Ineffective on humans. Dude thinks his vaccine doesn't work even though he gave her the stuff two seconds ago. Just give it a minute. Test results linked to this entry saved on six redundant drives. Six? Are you sure you have enough redundant drives? Day 1001. Okay, that's just about three years. In three years, he's captured and tested enough zombies to be on... Serum 391, compound six. Either your serum naming system is f***ed up and random, or else you've done 15 years worth of testing in the last three years. Canines remain immune to airborne strain only. Then why isn't there a load more dogs? There's over one million pets in New York City alone, and they can't have all been bitten. Typical human behavior is now entirely absent. But we saw them huddling in a clear satanic prayer circle. What are you talking about? Why are we stopping? Hey, remember earlier when that guy smashed his face on the car? Someone must have washed the window between these two flashbacks because there's no evidence that happened. Flashback 2, expand the backstory. Also, the movie rips off the general peer-based chaos of an extinction-level event from War of the Worlds. Get your hands off my wife! Military training me damned! Let's all point our guns at each other. Dr. Neville will be taking a closer look. He put in a DVD not only about himself, which is vain, but about the beginnings of the end of the world, which is nuts. Does he not have any reruns of Frasier? South Street Seaport every day at midday. Why does he choose the site of his family's death for the survivor meetup spot? Does he like reliving it every single day? I mean, Jesus. We clearly saw Fred at this point, but when Neville turns to go confront him, he can't be seen over the bridge. No! 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 No, no, no. How did you get out here? This question in and of itself demonstrates that this guy has enough sanity to know that even though he talks to them, a mannequin isn't real. Yet he'll still be drawn in enough by this to get caught in a trap. Here lies our friend Fred. He got shot in the head, and now he's dead. Who set up this trap? My money is on Wiley Coyote, because I can't figure out how the f it works. How long can a person hang upside down while losing blood but still be conscious? I'm guessing less than this movie suggests. Discount Resident Evil. Movie kills a dog, and I am not okay with that. F you, movie. That dog was awesome, you dicks. A second ago, Neville couldn't even walk. Now he's picking up injured dogs and f Movie subjects me to almost two minutes of injured dog cuddling, then dog mercy killing. Also, strangulation? Is there nothing in the lab that could be used to euthanize her? How has he been putting down the rats? A heavy dictionary? Movie goes overboard playing emotional cards by including the burying the dog scene. Movie is officially a raging asshole. Please say hello to me. She probably heard about what you did to Fred. Excessive mannequin flirting. Vehicle dangles over life or death ledge during a crisis cliche. To give Emma Thompson some credit, her virus gave these people super strength, super smell, and super speed. If it weren't for the whole taking away your humanity thing, a virus that cures cancer and gives you superpowers would be pretty well received. Other humans are actually alive and right in this exact spot right now after a thousand days of nothing in order to save the hero ex machina. Flashback 3. Confuse and obfuscate the backstory to unnecessarily pad the runtime. They don't know where I live. Don't let them track us. Rocky Impossible Instructions. Flashback 4. Kill family in horrific helicopter crash to instill viewer with even more empathy for main character. We're going to Vermont to the survivor's colony. That she found out about somehow. Everybody's dead. Everybody is dead. Says a guy talking to two alive people he didn't think existed 12 hours ago, and who also saved his ass, but whatever. The virus couldn't survive the cold. There are many colder places in the world than Vermont. There could be hundreds of colonies of survivors, and Vermont has summer too, so why wouldn't the airborne version of the virus travel to this state then? Yes, I was talking to you. Can I just tell you that you was really great back, back then? Those gods, they thought it was all that. Then you showed up and bam! I Am Legend is a Warner Brothers film that decides inexplicably to slobber all over a DreamWorks film in a way that is kind of important to the character arcs. And I'm just wondering why they didn't go with The Iron Giant, which is not only their own property, but also a vastly superior movie to Shrek. But whatever, it's fun seeing Will Smith impersonate Eddie Murphy, I guess, so common sense. I'm not leaving. This is ground zero. This is my sight. Denial is a powerful drug slash delusion, but I'm not sure it's this strong. Dude should be doing cartwheels after finding other human beings alive. I'm not gonna let this happen. Neville is still mostly not crazy, yet he still says this knowing this has definitely already happened. Yep, he's caught and effectively killed this many infected people in a thousand days. Dude works faster than the wolf. She's beautiful. What's her name? 
Will Smith uses his actual daughter to play a kid who dies in a terrible explosion. Neville changed shirts just in case he broke a sweat while locking up the house, but then changed back into his original white shirt because it's clearly more comfortable. There's no colony yet. There is a colony. I know, okay? Neither of them know for sure, yet they are both speaking in certainties. Less a 1% immunity. I left 12 million healthy people like you, me, and Ethan. During his speech about how there can be no colony, he basically outlines how 12 million people could still be alive and refuses to believe they could possibly form a colony. Yeah, some of that 12 million died, but not enough to prohibit a colony from existing. Man of science turns us back to math, basically. There is no God. Will Smith plays the discount the mole from the South Park movie. Lieutenant Colonel Neville doesn't have a weapon on him of any kind. <laughs> he survives this somehow. Thankfully, he not only survived, but also landed right next to a machine gun. I'm not sure if the alpha zombie is invincible or if Neville is just a terrible shot. I'm leaning towards terrible shot because we have yet to see him shoot anything that wasn't right in front of him. Or a mannequin. If the Dark Seekers have the sense of smell I think they have, why the hell is this guy digging a hole in the roof and not finding the two people that are right under him? To the left. Yes, into the place where there is only one means of entry and exit. <laughs> trying to reason with the creatures when typical human behavior is now entirely absent. Neville's bite hops from his left side to his right. Fun fact about Ford cars, they stay spotlessly clean for years, especially when they help you pay for your movie. In 2009. And we almost made it out, but narration. Charlie, I love you. I will be at the South Street Seaport every day at midday. Listen carefully. If we attack tonight, our humanity is lost. Where is everybody? Arby's. Roast beef sale. Welcome to Earth. You know, I also have killed a lion. How many shots did you need? I used my hands. <laughs>